Okay, today we're going to be looking at how to build a motorized A trail or motorized Dresden. So the first thing you do is you take your belt connector and attach it to the belt with one tooth hanging over. Now slide the belt connector all the way through the rail to the opposite end. Remove the belt connector and feed your belt through your return pulley. With the return pulley attached, replace the belt connector again with one tooth hanging over and bring it all the way back to the motor side of your track. Now, what you want to do is line up the edge of your belt connector with the edge of the track. So this edge right here is flush with the edge of your track and from there you'll count 45 teeth. Okay, and then at the 45th tooth, you'll cut off your belt. Okay, so now you'll want to loop the belt around and attach it again with one tooth hanging over. And from this point, we're going to attach our first master laying on top of the belt connector and feed it into the track. And pull the master all the way against the return pulley. Okay, so with this master all the way to the end, that lets us know that we have a good position to mark our other master. So we'll put a mark right here, right at the end of the track. And that will be a guide for where to attach our next belt connector and our other master. So from that point, you pull off the return pulley, disconnect your belt, and that now gives you room to pull out the belt and reveal the mark you made. And on that mark, you'll attach the belt connector and the master and feed them into the track. You'll have to make sure that the feet of your masters are turned in the right direction to get them into the H-rail. Okay, so from here we just reattach our return pulley. Attach it back to the belt. Insert whichever carriers you'll be using. And get your return pulley pushed all the way into the rail. Go ahead and tighten it down on the bottom. And now we'll be attaching our motor pulley. It has several screw screws on top you'll have to undo. And when you remove it, you'll also remove this wheel. Place your belt into the pulley and press it all the way into the rail. And now you'll take the wheel, insert it 
into the belt. You may have to twist to get it to fit in there. Replace the cover and screw it back down. Okay, and finally, uh, this piece comes in the packaging with the motor pulley. You want to take it, let it slightly overlap or saddle the uh, track and the pulley. Attach it and screw it in place. And then secure the screws on the bottom of the pulley. And you'll want to use lubricant on every moving part. So inside your pulleys, um, you want to get the feet of your masters. Um, inside of the rail and also the top of the rail, which for which we use a cloth. Just get a good layer of lubricant everywhere. And just make sure that your masters move, that everything's smooth, and that's it.